हे गाइस वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल अब हमने बहुत सारे प्रोफेशंस को लेकर वीडियोस बनाई है एंड वी थॉट वी शुड मेक अ वीडियो स्पेसिफिकली फॉर टेक जॉब्स इन कनाडा बिकॉज़ आई एम फ्रॉम द सेम इंडस्ट्री अब फॉर दोस हु डोंट नो आई एम अ रिएक्ट नेटिव ऐप डेवलपर एंड आई हैव बीन वर्किंग बीन बिल्डिंग ऐप फॉर द लास्ट 5 इयर्स आई हैव बिल्ट सम ऐप्स अ लॉट ऑफ ऐप्स एक्चुअली इंक्लूडिंग कैन गाइड व्हिच यू माइट बी यूजिंग and if you are not a techie sorry guys this video is not for you but if you know someone who is a techie do share this video with them unki thodi help ho jayegi to aaj ki video mein hum baat karenge panch cheezon ke bare mein number one scope of tech jobs in canada and how will it change post covid then how to develop your tech skills important resources and how simran became an app developer then we'll talk about interview process how many rounds how to prepare and so on then we'll talk about can you get a tech job from sitting outside of canada and finally we talk about tech jobs and startups and how it's the fastest way to get a job in canada do watch the video till the end because i'm 100% sure it will help you if you are a techie so let's get started A scope wise any kind of tech job is in demand in Canada app developers bi analysts data scientists devops cyber security professional full stack developers iot specialists cloud architects scrum master even semi technical professions such as technical sales ui ux developers it project managers and even technical recruiters who recruit for technical roles and all this because everything is moving towards tech because everything has moved online and this is clear because when we came to canada covid was at its peak navjot marketing profession mein hai and his job just dried out but i could get a contract job in just 15 days and when i lost my job i was able to find another job within a month and us time pe covid was at its peak on its second wave and salaries are also much better for a new immigrant who has 5 to 6 years of experience they can easily expect anywhere between 75000 Two hundred thousand dollars per annum, which is an amazing salary. And me, because I have never felt that I'm losing out if I don't have Canadian experience. Code is code. Either you are good at it or you are not. And this way, no difference is made that you are sitting in India or in Canada. Experience to count. Hota hi hai. And scope. Dekhne ka best tarika is if you go on LinkedIn, search for jobs, search for job descriptions. Kon kon si jobs abhi aa rahi hain? Just search for them. Just look at the requirements. If there is a gap. you need to upskill now this brings to our second point ki how to develop your technical skills now i have done bsc computer science honors and mca to mujhe coding basic samajh aate the but hamare schools colleges mein theoretical knowledge zyada di jati hai and you have to learn all the practical things when you go on the job and i learned that like that mere jab 2 2050 ka career start kiya tha i didn't know anything about react native i was solely working on php and then i had a fracture in 2016 i was on bed for 3 months and time hota tha to i started learning from udemy from free youtube channels udemy ke tutorials are not that expensive in fact i'll put a link in the description below jinse maine padha tha so i started doing that and i built my first app which 6 months later became a full fledged company so i really feel if i can do it you definitely can ab if you are a techie congratulations aapke paas ek advantage hai but ek cheez hoti hai you have the technical skills and dusri cheez hoti hai to put it all on a resume canada mein it's far more important what you actually speak in the interview it's really really important jo bhi aapke resume pe likha hai wo aapko acche se pata hai and you are able to communicate that very very well so isme business english is very important isme aapka attitude is very important and obviously technical skills to important hote hi hain but aur cheezon pe bhi bahut zyada dhyan dena padta hai ab now techies i understand are people of very less words matlab mere resume mein description were in bullet points but then naljot pointed out ki you need to write you know that person who's reading is also a human being it's not a machine so you need to write in a very uh, simple and effective way तो वो सब चीजें मैंने नवजोत से सीखी है। है, लिखना बहुत जरूरी होता वो वो कितने कितने लोगों लोगों ने डाउनलोड करी, वो कितने लोगों ने, यू you नो know, क्या इम्पैक्ट था उस ऐप का हाउ डिड इट चेंज द वे इट वॉज क्योंकि ऐप से क्या होता है इट्स ऑल सिंप्लिसिटी राइट यू बिल्ड सिंप्लिसिटी इन टू वट एवर यू नो पीपल आर डूइंग सो वो कैसे लाइफ लोगों की सिंपल हुई कितना लोगों का टाइम बचाया that impact should come out even if you have a technical profile ab techies ke liye ek sabse bada issues ki the new technologies come in and everything keeps changing i remember when i started to learn code hum log sabse pehle c c++ mein code kare the and then there are so many new technologies since then so i'll share an example of my senior he has been in the industry for over 20 years now and he's working on react native apps so 5 years ago due to company requirements he had to learn react native 
एंड बहुत सारे फ्री रिसोर्सेज अवेलेबल होते हैं वे यू कैन लर्न एंड टेस्ट एंड इवन समाइम्स अगर कभी आपको कुछ ज्यादा थोड़ी इन्वेस्टमेंट करके अगर कोई चीज सीखनी भी पड़े तो आई थिंक इट स्टिल वॉथ इट सो इफ यू आर इन टेक लुक अप फॉर जॉब डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑन लिंक इन और जहां पर भी आपको गैप नजर आ रहा है कोई भी लैंग्वेज आपको लग रहा है कि नहीं ये होनी चाहिए बट हमने नहीं करी हुई यू नीड टू अप स्किल दैट कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ता दैट यू डू इट फ्रॉम फ्री रिसोर्स ऑन यूट्यूब या फिर आप कोई लिंक इन लर्निंग का कोर्स ले रहे हो या कोर्सेरा पे कर रहे हो या यूडमी पे कर रहे हो इट डजेंट मैटर ऑल दैट मैटर इज दैट यू एक्चुअली प्लग दैट गैप and you are able to write that on your resume so that you are able to do well in your technical rounds now let's talk about the interview process as i have a little bit of experience when i panch interview processes kare hai so the first step is the screening call ab this call you will get from either the recruiter or the company hr jo aap se aapke previous experience ke bare mein puchhenge and will try to understand what are you looking for if you are applying for that role now screening call ke baad either hota hai technical round ya fir it can be a coding test so depending on your profile you will be asked technical questions they can be as basic as you read in your textbooks or it can be very practical jo ki mujhe pasand hai and that happened with me when i was applying for this company ab mere case mein i got to talk to my technical lead he asked me my previous experiences about the apps that i have built about uh, the technical difficulties that i got when i was building the app and he also asked me what like three changes that i'll like to do in the current app that will actually make the app very seamless so these are the kind of questions that can be asked and is now mein mujhe ek bahut clear difference jo realize hua between india and canada was सॉफ्ट स्किल्स अब यहाँ पे सॉफ्ट स्किल्स आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड उसका मतलब है कि जैसे इफ यू आर सींग समथिंग आई यू एबल टू कम्युनिकेट वॉट यूर ट्राइंग टू से वेरी इजिली और नॉट एंड लिसनिंग इज ऑल्सो इम्पॉर्टेंट कि आप फीडबैक सुनने के लिए रेडी हो या नहीं हो यू विल यू बी एबल टू जेल इन द टीम और नॉट सो ये सब चीजें बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट करती हैं इवन मोर इंपॉर्टेंट दैन नोइंग टेक्निकल थिंग्स अब नेक्स्ट आता है कोडिंग टेस्ट नाउ दिस कैन हैपन बिफोर द टेक्निकल राउंड एंड देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ कोडिंग टेस्ट दैट आई हैव गिवन वन इज अ लाइव कोडिंग टेस्ट वेर सम वन इज टॉकिंग टू यू ओवर द जूम कॉल एंड दे आर आस्किंग यू टू कोड द अदर वे इज दे गिव यू अ टेस्ट फॉर अ वीक और सो एंड यू हैव टू सबमिट इट ऑन अ गिट हब लाइब्रेरी एंड नेक्स्ट स्टेप इज यूजली अन अदर टेक्निकल राउंड where your code is reviewed from the last step up this step can be clubbed with the previous step a mere case mein two technical techies were reviewing my code and they asked me ki you could have used this then this aapne ye ki use kiya what my thought process was behind it and basically more than the technical things they are checking your process and attitude so be ready for that now the next step is optional and only happens with bigger companies who have hierarchy ab you will be interviewing with someone senior in the organization like a cto and you will be asked more hr like questions and very less technical next comes the round which i found very interesting in canada and that was the team round ab you are meeting the team that you will be working with ab this is kind of a formality but you don't have the offer yet to aapko ye round bhi bahut seriously lena padega basically they are trying to see if you can work well and gel with the team Obviously we can't generalize the entire process for everyone but I hope this was helpful in understanding what to expect when you come here as a technical person. Now let's talk about the next one which is very interesting and it is can you get a technical job from outside of Canada? And the answer is yes but it's not for everyone and it's not easy. Ab Canada mein tech jobs are in demand no denying that fact. Ab I am a react native developer and if I apply for a job to mere ko 4-5 ghante mein hi call back aa bhi jata hai. एंड अगर मैं किसी रोल में अप्लाई करता था तो मेरे को 24 फोर आवर्स के अंदर हंड्रेड्स ऑफ पीपल वर अप्लाइंग फॉर अ मार्केटिंग रोल विच आई वाज अप्लाइंग टू वेर एस सिमरन किसी भी रोल में अगर इंग्लैंड पे अप्लाई करें तो चार से पांच सिर्फ एप्लीकेशन जाती थी एंड दैट्स वन ऑफ द रीजन वाई सिमरन वॉज एबल टू गेट अ जॉब मच अर्लियर देन आई डेड एंड दैट्स जस्ट द रियालिटी बट इन ऑर्डर टू गेट अ जॉब फ्रॉम इंडिया यू हैव टू बी रियली रियली गुड इफ यू आर एन एप डिवेलपर हैव योर एप्स ऑन दी एप्स इवन इफ नो वन इज यूजिंग इट you still know the process have a github account put your work there it will help you showcase your work which is really important during the interviews and that's the key to getting a work permit from india now you need to understand that agar koi employer aapko work permit de raha and they are helping in your pr they need to make sure that you are so good that they can actually go to the government and say ki isko lmi dena hai because that kind of person is not available in canada isse bhi zyada important hota hai your ability to network in canada you have to be on linkedin more than you are on instagram and you need to talk to as many people as possible connect with them and then ask for a job you have to make a connection before you even 
you know, mention that you want a job as an app developer or a data scientist or whatever. And it also depends where you are. If you are in the US, mein ho, so it becomes a little bit easier as compared to if you are in India to find a job in Canada. Basically, you know the ways of working on the North American culture and your network bhi hota hai that can help you get a job in Canada. And for techies in US who are looking for a work permit in Canada, we have good news for you. We were able to partner with Mob Squad. Mob Squad helps people struggling with H1B in US to get work permits in Canada, which can eventually get you to a PR. Now, don't confuse immigration services or immigration consultants. They are basically a company, a third party, where there are a lot of big companies who are coming to them, solving their tech talent needs. And sometimes they are actually trying to retain people who are in the US, or at some times, they are actually building new teams in Canada. That's where Mob Squad fits in. So today, we have invited Arif and Nicole from Mob Squad, where they talk about what they do and how can they help tech talent and companies in North America. Hi, Arif and Nicole. Uh, thank you so much for being here with us. And we would love to know about MobSpot. I have a, a list of questions that I really uh, think that the audience would like to hear. But first, let's just introduce yourself in MobSpot. Hi, so I'm Arif Kamani. I'm the head of finance and administration for MobSquad. Hi, I am uh, Nicole Bainham, and I'm head of partnerships at MobSquad. All right. If you can just tell us something about MobSquad, what you do. Absolutely. Yeah. So Mob Squad, uh, we help foreign national technology professionals currently in the United States on work visas, uh, such as the H-1B visa or the STEM OPT visa, and we help them relocate uh, to Canada. All right. Is it applicable to everyone? Like who can specifically Mob Squad? Is it only technical folks uh, or anyone? Who can you help? Yeah, so it's mostly um, we have foreign national technology professionals. Mm -hmm. uh, and if their U.S. visas get denied or expire, MobSquad can help move them to Canada and they continue to work with their company near short. Okay, okay. You can cool. obtain Canadian work permits for technology professionals and their families within four to six weeks and permanent residency within, within the first year usually. All right. So uh, how it works is that you actually work with um, uh, RCIC, you know, uh, consultants here, and then you know uh, you process the work permits followed by PR, uh, the usual process. The only thing is that you're giving employment to people whose uh, visa are expiring in the US. That's pretty cool. Um, a lot of our audience are, uh, you know, from India. So do you think MobSpot can actually help people who are in India right now, or is it just the people who are in the US? Yeah, absolutely. So many of our technology professionals that we do work with have already come to the U.S. as students or workers. However, we are able to also help and support individuals who are currently based in India and already mm -hmm. working with U.S.-based companies from India. Okay, so they have to be on U.S. company payroll. Um, currently, yes, we do have uh, a talent roster that we can put individuals on as well, and we can pair them with clients who are looking to to build technology teams. So for people in the US, uh, what if people, uh, a lot of people have lost their jobs because of COVID, right? So uh, is it possible that you can help people who do not have jobs currently, uh, but they are in the US, um, you know, uh, right now? So is it possible for them to come to Canada and, you know, work with you guys and then uh, get their work permits? Yeah, so uh, Nicole mentioned a little bit about this, but we also help uh, companies build technology teams uh, in Canada. Mm -hmm. And so if you're currently not with an employer that would support you moving near shore to Canada, or if you are, you know, if you've lost your job in the US, uh, you can join our technology talent roster. Uh, and, you know, after our evaluations, if we have a client who's interested in working with you, Mob Squad can hire you and then we can relocate you to Canada in the method that Nicole uh, mentioned earlier. And then we can contract your services to a client company. So you would just have to join the roster and then find a client match. And then we could we can make that happen. Sorry, and how do you join the roster? Yeah, so on our website, we have open job postings for roles that we're currently recruiting for. And so if you were to apply to those roles, uh, they're mainly in hard to fill areas like data science, machine learning, data engineering, you know, AI engineers. Uh, so in those spots, if, you, if you're qualified, you would basically just submit your application, go through our screening process, and then we would we would add you to our roster. And then when we find client matches, we would let you know. And then you could you know discuss with with us and the client. And once we've once we've made that match, we could we could hire okay. you. Okay. And is there a minimum experience that you are looking at? Right. So there's no specific minimum you know for who we will look at. But those who are most successful tend to have 
uh, at least a bachelor's degree in you know, computer science or engineering or a related field, uh, often a master's degree, and most have at least five years of work experience. Uh, and the reason for that is those are the types of roles where our clients are having the most difficulty filling. So mm. in positions that are difficult to fill, where those who have at least five years of experience and you know strong education is where you'll most likely stand out on the roster and stand out to the clients that we work with. And that's that's fantastic. Um, what are the couple of advantages uh, of working with MobSpot? I understand that uh, the person a person who joins MobSpot, uh, they would be on MobSpot payroll, but they will be working for the client. So uh, apart from work permit and you know uh, part two PR, which is a big one, uh, what are the other advantages that you see uh, people? would get if they work with MobSpot. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, I think we, we do want to highlight, of course, um, the work permits that we're able to get, you know, our expedited work permits. So instead of it taking, you know, four to six months to be able to come to Canada, we can typically do that in four to six mm -hmm. weeks. And then that allows you to achieve permanent residency within the first year and citizenship generally under four years. Um, but in addition to all of that, you know, we, we add every employee as, you know, a member of our team and we want to provide stability for them and their family and support as they settle into their new community. So the support doesn't just end with the work permit. You know, we like to ensure that people who relocate are settled, uh, their family is happy, their you know kids are in the right schools, their spouse mm -hmm. is able to find work. Uh, so we want to provide a full service solution in that manner. But in addition to all of that and the ability to to provide stability in North America, you get to work with leading technology companies. You earn a top tier salary. You know, we typically pay in the high end of the salary ranges in Canada. And you receive a generous health and wellness benefits package on top of that. So we provide, we try to provide a full service from everything related to initially coming to Canada to settling in Canada and then being able to, to live and sustain in, in Canada as well. So Arif, uh, we do want to talk about, you know, family visa. So uh, for instance, you know, if you are employing a person, they'll obviously get the work permit and the part to PR. But what about family? What about their spouse? What about their kids uh, who may be in school, you know, uh, back in the US? Yeah, and that's a great question. And, and definitely applies here. So we not only get the expedited work permit for the technology professional who's who's paired with a client, but we also get an open work permit for their spouse, as well as study permits for their, for their dependent children. Uh, so the whole family would be able to move on that expedited basis, just on having that one individual that would be employed by Mob Squad. So we, we, we do get the permits for the entire family to move. All right, that's fantastic. Uh, and just one last question that, um, it actually stands out of my curiosity. Um, what would be the compensation, an average compensation that uh, MobSpot, you know, employees would have? Yeah, that, that's a good question. Um, it does vary depending on the province that you are in in Canada. So, as an example, in Halifax, a top end salary you could expect to earn between eighty five and one hundred thousand Canadian dollars. Whereas if you're in Toronto or Vancouver, uh, you could be earning between you know over one hundred thousand upwards of one hundred thirty. 140,000. So it does oh, vary. And Mob Squad does make sure that we pay at the very top end of, of the market. And that was Mob Squad. Links are in the description. If you're in the US mein ho, and if you want to apply for these jobs, do that and they'll reach out to you. And finally, let's talk about my favorite topic, which is tech jobs in startups. And guys, this is the best way to get your first job as a techie. Up Canada has a lot of tech startups. They're always in need of more developers and data scientists. And then startups ka interview process is very short. Now, I got a job in one week, which included three interviews and a coding test. Guys, yes, agreed that startups are not so much stable, hoti, but when you are coming here, it's important to get the first job. And if you stay in that company, mein rehte ho, or us company, even if it becomes insolvent or whatever happens and it's not very stable, you can always use the experience that you gained here to apply for a much bigger company. And the best place to find a job in startups is angel.co. In this website, there are many jobs hoti hai, and because it's free for the founders, it's really really good the other good way of finding a job in a startup is just reaching out to you know startup founders on linkedin ye logon ko hamesha tech talent ki zarurat hoti hai and they will actually create a role for you if you are that good now we did a comparison between working in a big company versus a startup in a previous video jiska link hum description mein dal denge so do check it out but startups are a holy grail for tech people and in my view the fastest way to get a tech job that's it for today agar video badhiya lagi to please like and share milte hain agli video mein tab tak ke liye bye bye, bye.